Oh, hey guys. Pokemon time. Let's see what we got today. Episode 2. I guess we're going to start this off with learning how to catch Pokemon. Yay. Well, at least the good part is we get Pokeballs this time. We could actually catch our first Pokemon here in the grass. And since it's nighttime, it's probably going to be something like a Hoot Hoot instead of a Pidgey, which is kind of depressing. Uh, well, I guess Hoot Hoot's okay. Noctowl's not bad. Anyway. trying to figure out a way to get the video to actually be bigger so you don't have so much dark on the outside of the screen so you guys uh, don't have to like be annoyed by that, by that black on the outside of the screen Alright, got our Pokeballs, and it's a Hoot Hoot. Great. Well, let's tackle this bitch a couple more times. Well, we'll give it one more, just for good measure. Um, we're gonna do a, uh, another roll. If I enter a zone, and the first Pokemon I see is a duplicate <coughs> of one that I've already caught, uh, that Pokemon doesn't count. I can catch something different, because having two of the same Pokemon is kind of pointless. Also, I'm extremely tired. What shall we name this? Hoot Hoot. We'll name it uh, Hooters. Okay. So, there we go. There's our first uh, addition to the team. The Hoot Hoot named Hooters. There's a lot of hoot hoots. Again, there's only like two Pokemon in the grass here. At night, hoot hoots and rat attack. It's kind of depressing. catch him a chop. It's probably going to be a Geodude, though, with my luck. Called it. I think you can still catch a chop here. I'm not sure. I know that you can catch a um, fan feed in the morning. But it's really low chance. So I probably wouldn't get one anyway. Five, I think it's like a 5% chance to find one. I'm oh, sorry, I'm not talking much tonight, guys. Just kind of really tired tonight. Long day. Adrienne. Uh, 
obviously spelled horribly wrong. Ah, whatever. Probably gonna replace it. Okay, back to Cherry Grove. Heal up quick, do some shopping. And then we can uh, catch another Pokemon just outside the city. Actually, we'll be able to come back here when we have a fishing rod and a uh, fish in the water there and be able to catch another Pokemon, which will be cool. What I'm really hoping for is uh, when I get to Olivine City that I can catch a um, star you. Star you would be great. Great water type. Nose recovery. Ugh. So good. recovery it's like what do I even have these potions for just have it recover its own health Now we get to fight the most annoying trainer in the game, Youngster Joey. For those of you who have the internet and have ever played Pokemon, don't know about Youngster Joey. If you give him your phone number at the end of this battle, he will call you and he can brag about his rat attack every five minutes. His Rattata's in the top percentage of Rattata, bro. Which is why I am not going to give him my phone number. I know what Pokemon, what trainers is good to give your phone number to, and I will do that for you. I'm just gonna steamroll through to the next town because I really want Ixen to learn Ember. So no grinding until we get to uh, Violet City. It's all over. 
As soon as you get a stab attack, it's it's all over. And uh, stab for those of you who uh, don't really play Pokemon competitively. Uh, stab means uh, same type attack bonus. So. That means if I'm using Fire-type Pokémon and it uses a Fire-type move, the power of that move is amplified by one and a half. So, Ember has a power of 40, but if it's used by a Fire-type move, it actually has a power of 60. Really neat. Uh, competitive Pokémon play... has a lot of math involved. A lot of math. Like EV training your Pokemon. And, you know, stat drops and stat boosts in battle and stab attacks and power of this and if he does this I'll have to do that and it's just... When you're battling someone it's actually like... Uh, it's, it's a challenge to battle someone who knows what they're doing. Um, let's go inside the cave. Catch someone in the cave. Someone. Uh, catch a Zubat. Because I already caught a Geodude, so now Zubat's the only thing I can catch. So I don't think there's anything but Geodudes and Zubats on this floor. In previous well, said in previous videos, all you need to do is to win is spam tackle. Just spam tackle. But, uh, this thing's weak enough. Use a ball on it. Yay! Got a zoom out. enough spaces to give him the nickname I want to. I don't. Uh, I'll just name him Bale then. This guy's hold number I'm gonna take because he'll randomly call you and have free berries for you. And berries were a little bit harder to get in this game. And they're quite useful. So we'll learn Ember in this fight. Bug catcher. This would be really easy to just grab these Pokemon into bits. Just leave them on a steamy, smoldering pile of shit. There you go. So, uh, it's all over for this guy. Game over. One shot. Bam. Dead. Later. Stabs. Especially when they're super effective. Super effective, double damage. Stab, 1.5 times the damage. It's just death. <clears throat> That's 
really great is when you have a when you're fighting a Pokemon that has two types, like a Gyarados, flying and water, and both types weak against one thing, like electricity for Gyarados. So if you zap a Gyarados, you do four times the normal damage. Plus, if you use an electric type Pokemon with that electric attack, it's 1.5 times the normal damage. So let's say you hit a Gyarados with a Thunder. Thunder has a base power of 120. With the stab, it's 180, and then you multiply that times 4. So, 180 times 4 is... I'm very bad at math. 180 times 4, uh, oh shit, 720, you just hit that Gyarados for 720 damage, base, or not base, but that's how much you're going to deal, 720, it's dead, anyway, catch you next time.